Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. At the end of the last episode we finished doing the Killer Joe and I just got a zombie um, in the soul vial. So next thing we're going to do is to make the powered spawner. So let's get on and do that straight away. It's fairly straightforward recipes anyway. But they are changed in Galactic Science. So first thing we need is let's go to the powered spawners this one. We need basically four dash four ingots and one basic capacitor. Oh, don't have any probably some basic capacitors up here somewhere, I hope. Yes, we've got fourteen. Four dash I've got, four iron bars I've got should be what we need to make a machine frame. Yes. The next thing we need is oh, has it gone to? Move everything around. Two vibrant crystals are fairly expensive but not too bad. I think I've got everything else that we need in here for electric steel. So we've now got our powered spawner. So the next thing we have to do is to combine this powered spawner with, and then we have to do that in an anvil. And I should have now a broken spawner. Yes, we do, with a zombie in it. It's just a straightforward zombie. So let's see how, uh, hopefully it doesn't break the, this. 30, ooh, that's gonna be a bit difficult. I don't think I've got 30. If we haven't, we'll have to go and get 30 from, probably. Let's have a look how much have we got in here. Oh, just 30. So now we have a power spawner with a zombie in it. So let's go and see if this works. What do we need? We need some conduit and I think that's probably all we need actually. We probably do need a lever. Levers are very useful or some sort of redstone conduit as well. Maybe that's another way to do this. I don't think there's an interface for that, but we'll, turn, we'll, we'll take a, a lever to start with. Because oh, maybe we do need to, yeah, lever would be fine, I think. I want some way to be able to turn it off. In fact, it's probably a good idea to be able to do that in a long range process, isn't it? Uh, let's make two levers. The reason I want to make a second lever is to turn off the Killer Joe, so I can get in there, and if I need to disable the thing, it'll probably be a good idea. So I really need to find a bit better way to do this. Probably some insulated conduits, probably the best, but for starters, let's use levers. It's not too far away. The end of the grey and yellow passageway. And I guess I can put on here a lever. Let's put lever. Oh, can I put the lever on here? No, I can't. Actually, has it got configuration? Oh, it has always active. So in that case, if I turn it active with the signal, so what happens if I put a lever up here? Can we actually access this thing? Yes, we can. So I suppose we ought to test it. Oh, we've got it, it's not set up yet, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to put in the middle of this room, the spawner. So let's put in, first of all, a roundel. TARDIS decorator is a great tool. Left click that there. Now we need to get this to reconfigure mode. I'll just come past it, it's blue. So we need some power coming out of that. some TARDIS interface cables for power and then we need to put on top of this oh, we'll use an, an, an ender conduit I think will be just fine like that and I suppose we could put the spawner this will spawn in a 4x4 four four area so we need to go back one two three Four, so it won't go beyond this. If I just put it on top of this, like that. Uh, 
I should be able to put a lever on the side of this, which I, basically it's going to happen. Turn it off for a second, I think. Spawn. Nope. It's not configured to being active with the redstone signal. So at the moment it's turned off, that's fine. So let's turn it on again. Get out of the way. And put the sword and put the sword into here. Where's it gone to? Yes, there we are. Maybe it's a good idea to close the two doors. In fact, they don't seem to be getting hurt. So let's make sure this is always active. Oh, something's happening. I'm getting XP. We got a carrot. But I think I'm getting all of the XP. Let's get out of the way a bit. It's very noisy anyway. <laughs> Say the least. So it doesn't pick up, as you may have noticed, it's not picking up items. So we now do have some XP in here, that's great. So, I'm going to get out of the way, let that work. Make sure we've got some nutrient coming into that, which we have, of course. It's interesting that the mobs are actually getting set on fire. So we need to set up a vacuum chest. So we'll go and do that next. That's the next job. I'll teleport away for you, that's way. So we need a vacuum chest. Look at that, I picked up 10 rotting flesh in a few seconds. And so the bits and pieces, another DU bullet. Always oh, good to have DU bullets, actually. But the gun to make those is very, very expensive. I also found a syringe with a, a zombie in it. Um, right. So I could have used the RF tools spawner for that, but the Ender IO one's easier. So let's go and look at for let's go and look for um, vacuum chests. This is the one I want to build, I think. So that's one pulsating crystal, which is just pulsating iron. That's not too bad with a diamond. Okay, pulsating iron I might actually already have. Let's go back to the moon base. In fact, I moved the teleporter, so let's teleport away. It actually uses quite a lot of power, this, because it's going through dimensions, and I moved it inside here. Um, and it will be in this chest at the back here. I thought it was time to move that. I've had it there for ages. Pulsating iron, fantastic. I just need one of those actually, and a diamond. Well, plenty of diamonds in here. Two stacks on it, well, nearly three stacks of diamonds. Take one of those. And we've got a crafting table here anyway, so we can quickly make, uh, let's make the nuggets first of all. Oops, I can't do it today. What's going on there? There we go. One pulsating crystal. What else do we need? Just iron and a chest. Okay, that's no big deal. Let's go and make a chest. I've probably got some wood in one of these, actually. Plenty of DU bullets. And you see lots of spawners from excursions into the to the moon bases. And plenty of titanium in here, too, actually, for that matter. So where is it going to? Oh, two pieces of wood will do. Two planks anyway. We could just do that like that, put it in the middle. Click that twice, bring around our chest. And the rest of what we just need is some iron. What have we got on me? That's a, oh, we've got four iron. It's not enough, but let's go and get another bit. Let's take a stack. Got 263 stacks in there, so that's plenty. So now we should be able to make a vacuum chest like that. So, so I think that's all we need to do. Let's go back now and go and set this up. What I'm curious about here, of course, is whether actually those zombies are going to be spawning outside. Let's 
Let's quickly go, go, go in here. Ooh, of course I'm getting attacked because I forgot to turn the sword out of this thing, didn't I? Let's take the sword out quickly. <laughs> in fact, that's actually that's a good test. Let's see whether or not this is actually working if I turn that on. So at the moment it's always active. Active with signal. Let's put the chest back in and see if I get hurt. It's a masochistic way of doing things, isn't it? There we go. I could have done it this way, couldn't I? So that is currently off. Let's turn this, let's check that lever. Indeed it is off. Let's put the sword back in again. Yep, that's working. So this is supposed to do a five by four by, I might actually be okay to it. Probably does the whole area anyway. There are no zombies in here. So let's turn that off. We can put the sword safely back in again. Without it hurting me. So next thing is to put this vacuum chest somewhere. Maybe I need to remove one of these doors and put it there. So let's do that. I think that's probably the best solution for this one. So if we put the vacuum chest down here, I'm not sure what the range of this is either. So, but it's a good place because we can put it here. On top of that, we can put a glass box so we can see what's going on. We can close this door and we can turn this one on. What I should do here is to get some uh, a redstone signal. Let's go and do that. So I don't have to go in there to turn off the zombies as it were or whatever we've got going on in there. So let's have a quick look at what we have. If we've got any at all. Well, we'll need some binding, whatever else we do. That's all. So we need insulated redstone from endo I O. I think it's a So the one I want to probably use is energy conduit, this one, insulated redstone conduit. So that's uh, some redstone alloy, which is just simply redstone and silicon in a, okay, I think I've got some of that. We've probably got some at the other place. Let's just make it for the sake of it. So it was two, wasn't there? It's two and some redstone. That's that to all smelting. So if we put those two in, we should get it coming straight out. How many do we need? Three. That makes one. I probably need more. Let's make a little stack of this actually. Uh, four of those and do four of these as well. Because it's all smelting, you have to be careful. Make sure that you put whatever you put in first is the thing you need. So there we've got three of those now. That should be enough. So I'll put those down like this. It's usually the case. You put that down first. And then if I right drag on that, I should get my insulated conduits. And I don't think there's an interface to this. So I don't think you can say, okay, in the TARDIS mod. We just double check it though. Such a space, isn't it? Already. Though I don't think we have any of these for fluid ducts, junk loaders, nanogene canister. I haven't actually built that yet. I should probably do that. So um, basically healing yourself or restoration field is possibly. Essentia, where we don't have Thorncraft in here. That's just a template one. That's Transmart. ME cable, we don't have applied energetics either, and energy conduit. So there is no redstone by the looks of it. So I might do some more research on that one. So let's go back and with these and set it up. In fact, if I'm clever, I can put both of those on the same lever. But maybe that's not such a good idea. So if I drag this down, say here, put 
put that on there like that and then bring this forwards can I bring it there or oh, I have to go at one oops missed that one well, hopefully I've got enough the fierce way you know I didn't actually think about that one more we'll bring it to here but that's probably not where I want it to be I can, can click it yes I can so I probably do need some more of this uh, so that currently is off isn't it that switch should be lever should be off This magnet is very fast as well. It doesn't behave slightly different from the other Ender I/O ones. I wonder if I can put this lever on here, like that. If I could, it would be quite good. Maybe I have to put it down like this. Oh yes, that will work. So let's close the door here. Turn this on, and turn this on for that matter. Yep, that seems to be working just fine. In fact, that. One of those looked as though that was a villager zombie. I probably should capture that and try to make a villager out of that, but I don't know whether we need any villagers as such. So, let's just let that run. Can make sure that everything else is working just fine. Actually, that went a bit faster than I was expecting it to work, so I suppose the next thing to do is to fix up these farms. So here I've got some farming going on here for... Um, just ordinary wheat so the wheat should be coming out somewhere and hopefully the wheat's going into the f into the animals here to breed more cows but I bet it's not I bet it's going just somewhere else so the wheat is actually not connected by the looks of it actually it's difficult to say isn't it let's have a quick look so maybe the wheat is going out and not coming into here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Well, I didn't show you this either, did you? These are actually conveyor belts from Extra Utilities. And I replaced that from, with, from the water. So that actually works better. So basically what's happening here is these are pushing this way towards this channel and these channels are pushing that way you don't see any movement which is also sort of good let's have a look at this so it's got no wheat at the moment I'll tell you what let's go and get some wheat quickly and put it in again and hopefully that wheat will actually come into here i'm just better double check this as well so we've got one stack and two let's take a stack out of it and i my inventory is full okay that's not so good let's just put some of this stuff away two d bullets Pizza, Domino pizza, some food. I wonder whether that'll get filed. Probably into food, huh? Pulsating nuggets actually go up there. Door will stay here. Right. I could put the doors in here, you see, because this is set to. If I actually set this to minus, minus, to minus, it should just, everything should disappear. As soon as you move something out like that and sort it, everything disappears and it should come into this chest here because that one's got priority is just set to minus zero right now and it's a diamond chest so it's big it's got lots of capacity let's go and feed those animals in fact while I'm doing that I might as well feed myself get to that sometimes you can't get to if the cows are in the way which is a bit of a pain there we go in fact I can of course I can do that I could go underneath to do that couldn't I yeah see there's a baby just being forced across that and another one let's go over to this side hopefully we'll see some more coming out There you are, see, and it pushes them out. There you go, like that. Well, actually, that's working very well. 
six babies already, so that basically means lots of steak. So what we have to do next, of course, is to pipe this stuff out of here into this chest. So I probably want to take it. Well, I've got two choices, haven't I? I've got, we'll do it at the end of IO way. And I've just picked up a load of stuff I don't need. And feed it into here. Maybe that is probably the best way. So let's have a look. So what do we need to do to that? Well, we've got something already set up here. So let's make sure we've got an item ducked. How many have I got here? Three. Well, I'll need two of these anyway. So let's put one of those down like that. And then we can put an item conduit on there. Which we should already have. Green. We need two of those, I think. Maybe three. So I'll put one of those onto there. Like shift and click in here. But we also... Oops. What did I just do? How did that happen there? Let's try putting it down there like that's better. Huh? So, pick the one I didn't want. So now what we want to do is put a filter, and I don't think I've got any filters with me. I oh, have got one, good. My inventory is very full. So on this filter here, let's have a look at this. We want to only extract steaks, don't we? So let's come over here and get a steak or oh, raw beef so we're just going to whitelist those we're going to set it to always active and then that one just has to be go in so let's just do that let's just set that to insert mode like that now this then should get steaks coming in here it hasn't got any yet so now we need to get the stakes out of here and put those into somewhere else. Let's just create another round or probably uh, let's do it here. It's really cool the TARDIS. I think it's a very practical. Just got to remember to do things in the right order and you don't screw things up. That's And then put that there. Can I do it? I have to shift it, do I? I have to do. So, in fact, I think we could probably extract all of the items out of here. So we won't bother putting a filter on there. But we will make sure that this has got an insert priority of one to insert stuff going in that. Well, the extract here will make this priority. Can we increase the priority on this one? No. Uh, here we can on the insert so we make sure that the stakes should be a higher priority there so basically all I have to do change that one to be insert and change this one to always active and everything should disappear now hopefully we'll see stakes coming in into the other place now we've got some in yeah fantastic it's automated look at that so they should now the rest of the stakes will probably disappear out and the leather is already not going anywhere so that's probably f gone somewhere that should come back out into the main base, actually. Let's go and see. So we should be getting stakes somewhere. Uh, leather, I mean. Do we see any? We've got stakes coming in here, so we've got 23 stakes there. And seven leather there. They should come out of here. Oops, that's not correct. Somehow or other, this has got converted to the wrong one. Probably my, I think I probably did. So after a short period of time, whenever the 
system thinks about it, that should increase. So the leather should go up from seven and the stakes should go up from there. But it does sometimes take a while for the for the TARDIS to work out what's going on. Well, that's a little bit shorter than usual, but I think let's go last last quick check to the to the mops and see how they're getting on. See how my XP is increasing. That's the most important bit. Well, you can see mobs burning away there and getting chopped, I guess. And this one, I haven't fixed this either. Oh, look, what have we got here? Plenty of stuff. I suppose I should really put that into this. Into here. Let's do that before I forget that. So, item to con conduit. So, let's put that on. It's a bit noisy. I do apologise. <laughs> These are very noisy mobs. Uh, so, we just need a. Uh, an item duct. One will do. Can I put that here? Oh. Maybe if I shift right click that one. There we go. So now we have to basically configure this. And actually that's a bit more difficult. But with the utterance it's fairly straightforward. So what we're going to do now is left click this here. So the iron door we don't care about the vacuum chest. Okay, so we take the vacuum chest and we want to always extract. Okay, and then in here, probably you can do this one directly. This is an extract of. Actually, we don't need to extract, we just need to insert, don't we? So, therefore, everything in here now should be coming out and going somewhere. Uh, nutrients, that was the other thing that should be coming into here. Let us work with that, of course. Let's have a look. 13.95. And 18 XP, that's good. Right. That's it, let's go back to the, to the base and have a quick check. We should get stuff coming into here. Yes, there you go. That's where the leather helmet went to. We've got some zombie heads. What else do we get? Some rotting flesh should be around. And there may be a thing in here. You see, that's gone up now to two stacks. So that did increase. Um, that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Quite exciting, actually. I should really do that with some more useful mobs. But I think zombies are a good start. So until next time, bye for now.